Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Stella Mori. And please don't forget to press the subscribe button and the notification button so you will be updated to all my videos. What does it mean to make a promise to someone? Describe a time when you made a promise. Or someone else made a promise to you. We don't keep 100% of our promise, do we? We might have really good intentions. We say what will we do. But sometimes we forget. Or we decide that we rather do something else. There's only one person who keeps his promises. 100% of the time. And that is God. Today we'll hear a story about how God called a man named Abram to follow him. And we'll hear about the promises that God made to Abram. We'll learn that God uses people. He calls to fulfill his promises. We pray that God will open our heart to hear his word. Scripture Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, 9 and chapter 13. A man by the name of Abram was living in the city of Haran when he heard God's voice telling him to pack up his family and his belongings and move to the land of Kenya. Abram was 75 years old at the time. Can you imagine if God asked you to leave behind everything that was familiar to you to go to a foreign land? Where you didn't know anyone? How would you think to respond to God? As hard as it must have been for Abraham to live behind 75 years worth of memories, he trusted God and he obeyed. Abraham believed that God uses people he calls to fulfill his promises. So Abraham packed up with his family, his wife Sarai, and cousin Lot, his servants and all their belongings, and they set out for the land of Kanya. Just like God had told him, God must have known that Abraham needed some encouragement because God also gave him this promise. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all people on earth will be blessed through you. Wow, what a promise. God told Abram that he would make his family so big, that they would be their own nation. God also said that the whole world would be blessed because of Abraham's family. What makes this promise so miraculous is that Abraham was 75. At that time, he and his wife Sarai didn't have any children. Abraham might not have understood exactly how God is going to fulfill his promise. How God was going to fulfill his promise. But he knew that he could trust God's plan because God uses people. He calls to fulfill his promise. Abram and his family arrived in the land of Canaan where God had told him to go. When they arrived, Abram built an altar to the Lord and worshipped him there. Then God said, Genesis thirteen fourteen. 2.17 14. The Lord said to Abraham, after Lot had parted from him, Look around from where you are, to the north and south, to the east and west. 
15. All the land that you see I will give to you and your offspring forever. 16. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that if anyone could count the dust, then your offspring could be counted. 17. Go, walk through the length and breadth of the land, for I am giving it to you. As we continue through the story of Abraham, we'll see how God used him in amazing ways to bring about the promise he made. Who and the three things God promised Abraham? He would be a great nation. Two, the world would be blessed of his family. Three, God would give them the world of Canaan. God promised that the whole world would be blessed through Abraham's family. God knew the people he had created needed to be rescued, but there was nothing that they can do to save themselves. But God had a rescue mission all planned out from the very beginning, and he would use Abraham and his family to bring it about. Did you know that Jesus was born into Abraham's family? God used Abraham to be a father to a great nation. The Israelites and Jesus would come to the world through that nation. God would use Abraham's family to bring salvation to the entire world. Abraham had no idea at that time, what an important job God called him to do. But he trusted God and believed that God used people he called to fulfill his promises. I hope you learned something on this video. This is an important message from God. Thank you for watching. See you in my next vlog. God bless. Goodbye. See you next time.